right. Hello, mainlets. So I'm in Korea for Korea Blockchain Week, and I need to eat Korean barbecue pretty soon. But I thought it would be fun to kind of speed run building a little Solana app using basically nothing but Cursor, which is this new code editor that has AI integrated. Just to show you guys kind of how easy it is, even if you don't know how to code well, or really at all. I mean, I would recommend, you know, at least some code, but it really doesn't take much and you certainly don't need to know Rust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and raw dog this. I don't think I've done a screen recording before, so bear with me here. And if this goes well, I'll probably try to start building some bigger apps like DEXs, marketplaces and whatnot using nothing but cursor. So I'm not gonna write any code myself. I'm just gonna make the AI do all my work because I am the master of machines. Okay, so let's just kind of go over what we're seeing on the screen here. So I just have Cursor pulled up. Let me actually close this. I have Cursor pulled up, which if you have used VS Code before, it's actually the same interface. It's actually a fork of VS Code. And the only differences are some AI features like autocomplete, composing new apps, and my favorite, the AI chat box. So. If you press Command L here, you will get the AI chat box. And you can actually pick the model that it uses. So you can actually just do GPT-4 or the other things here, but we're obviously gonna use Claude because we are smart people. And then the other thing I've already done here is I have built, or I've, I've ran the Create React app command here already, which you can see on the screen. And I just created a React app because downloading it might take some time which will bore you and so let's actually just get to it what should we build so i actually call this repo token minting but let's start with something easier let's let's just build like a basic tps explorer like a block explorer on solana because all of them suck okay so let's do it and basically i'm just going to talk to it in english okay hello sir today i would like to build a UI that shows current and historical Solana transactions transactions per second by fetching those blocks. I want you to use only native Solana RPCs. Actually, I'll actually give it the URL that I want to use. So if I go to Helios here, and load my RPC URL, which is not loading because I cached it. We take this and we go and say, I want you to use only Solana native RPCs. In fact, use this URL. Ensure that the UI is a clean, aesthetic, cyberpunk theme with elements of Solana purple and green. That's probably not disgusting, but fuck it. Ensure that the app is fully functional and has robust error handling. All right, let's get to work. Generate all the files. Leroy Jenkins, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so now I press, so something good to understand here is you can actually chat with the entire code base or you can chat with the current context by adding context. I just went ahead and did this, the enter code base version. And I'm not sure if I actually clicked something by accident here, so let's just do that again. All right, so it's, it's actually reading all the files and it's saying, all right, yeah, certainly we'll do this. Uh, and the cool thing is it actually generates the files for you in the editor, so you don't have to kind of go back and forth, copy and pasting. So all I have to do is click apply. And once I do that, I just accept it, save the file. And then it says, okay, let's create a new file. So let's do that. Uh, so source, new folder, components, and let's create a new file here, transaction stats.js. And then let's apply this. And let's see if it actually finds this file. Yep, so it found the file on its own. 
and we will save that. Let's also add the CSS because CSS is cancer. And then let's apply this to the app.css file as well. All right. And let's update all the dependencies. So where are the dependencies? Package JSON. I'm not sure if it actually applied these, so it might have broke. <laughs> uh, continue. Okay, so now it's actually telling us exactly what to do. It's saying install the dependencies by running npm install. So let's do that. Let's actually just make sure everything is saved. Yep. And so this will probably take a few seconds. All right, so now we have the npm install done and it actually tells you the logic it's using. The application will fetch the current TPS every five seconds and display it along with historical TPS data for the last 10 fetches. Okay, so now we're gonna run the React server and pray to Jesus that nothing is broken, which is a, is a tough ask. Oh, all right, we have, we have something here. Uh, Solana TPS monitor, and we have an error fetching data. Okay, so fail to get confirmed. Let's let's tell this bad boy that, hey boss, there is an error in the code. Please help fix. All right, so I'm just going to tell it the error, and the nice guy over here is going to apologize for the oversight, which it does every single time, by the way. So, you know, Claude, your words mean nothing to me. And so now that this is here, we're going to go ahead and click apply. And so you see that it's already made some changes and you can see it in like a, basically like a code review or PR review format, which is pretty cool. I know how much devs love doing code reviews. And then it also tells you exactly what it did. And then it says, make sure you have the latest installed. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna click clear and I'm gonna run the server again and pray to some other god this time. Oh, all right. So now we have the current TPS. Oh, all right, sweet. So now we're seeing the TPS in real time, which is, you know, I mean, the app is <laughs> utterly useless, but it is pretty cool how it can just connect with Solana RPCs and understand kind of the Solana, Solana programming model to be able to do this. And so maybe now we want to get a little creative. Okay, great. Now the app is working but I want to show the TPS history in graph formats. Additionally, the UI is really damn ugly. Please make it more beautiful. Style it like a Red Bull F1 car. Lol. All right, let's see what that does. I'm kind of just Leroy Jenkins and random shit here at this point, but Let's see if that works. So first we wanna install some chart libraries, which makes sense. So let's do that. I don't think it actually applied it. It's trolling me. Okay, so you can actually see that I messed up here. It's trying to apply it to the JSON file, but it's, it should actually be a script here or, or a bash command. So we just did that and then now apply it to the transaction stats page. You click save. Let's update the app file. Uh, okay, let's do that. Not sure why. And then update the CSS. Uh, let's apply these to the public index here. Nope, that is not correct. You're supposed to apply it here, you big idiot. Yep, okay, here we go. And then let's ensure that the package JSON is also updated. So now we did this. Let's save this. Get my big head out of the way. File. All right. So now let's just run npm i again for a sanity check. All right. And then let's press npm start and see if it totally breaks. Okay. So it does totally break. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this exact line and we're going to say, so now I'm getting the following error. Let's see if it's able to debug this on its own. So again, we got an apology. 
Oh, it seems it thinks it knows the issue here. And so let's apply this and accept it. And okay, I'm already seeing an error, so that's not good. NPM start. <laughs> All right. So now we have kind of an interesting chart <laughs> where you can see the TPS historically. So that's kind of cool. But the styling is atrocious. So I'm going to get creative here. I'm going to say, okay, so the app is now functional. I want you to keep all app components the same logically, but I want you to update the styles so that the color palette is a clean cyberpunk theme that would make Steve Jobs a happy man. Don't let me down. Make it sexy. Thanks. All right. Let's see what that does. Definitely. Hopefully nobody outside the hotel can hear me here because I sound like a fucking lunatic. All right. So let's go ahead and update the styled components. All right. So this is apply transaction stats. Accept. Apply it here as well. It would be nice if it just did this all in one step, but fuck it. Apply this. And let's apply it to index.css. All right, so we applied it, I think, everywhere. Clear, npm start. Let's see what we got here. All right, so this looks a lot better. So now we have a current TPS. It's also randomly keeping track of the max TPS. And you can see the chart update in real time to show you how the mainlet chain is performing. Not particularly great, I think. I'm also not sure if it's including vote transactions or whatnot. I'm not sure if it's smart enough to look at that. But there you go. Now we have, let's say, the first building block for a Solana Explorer. And note that I didn't have to write any code at all. I just spoke to it in English and clicked apply and accept. And then if there was an error, I just told what the error was and it fixed it on its own. All right. That will be all today. Thanks for listening.